Hey guys, what's up? So today we will learn how to insert multi-column and multi-row tables in our document. For example, so here is the first example and uh, if we want to insert or draw a table like this with the uh, two columns but here we have merged the two column into a single column so let's see how this how how we will write the code for this so here is the begin table this at shows that this table will appear right here if you put t sorry small t or b so t shows the top of the page and b shows the bottom of the page so we will leave it as h this shows the centering that we want this table to be in the center of the page okay so here is the the this shows that we have two columns the co the contents of the column mm, one is center and the other one is left and then we have a hard line and then we have this is where we we will start to look into our code for the multi column as we can see here the setup has a single column so here the whole table has two columns, but the setup is only mm, having one column so we will write like like this multi column and then the number of columns of the uh, that the setup will occupy so here the setup has two column so we write two column and then the content is in center and then we have setup is followed by a hard line then we can see it's the normal table it's the parameter and values and these are the parameters and values and finally we end the table so if you run like this we we can see here that the setup is having a single column while the other contents of the table are in two columns so this is one example so now let's see a more advanced um, a more advanced example uh, sorry all right so let's run this okay so here we can see first the first thing we have to notice that how many columns we want to have in the table so here we have one two, one two three three columns so the parameter word parameter is in a single column so it means that we have to combine three columns into a single so as we can see here, column number one, column num sorry, column number one, column number two, and column number three. And then for the word parameter, we had we have combined these three columns into a single column, as we can see here. And then it's followed by a, 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 and the value. So it's there is a hard line and then the a, 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 and the value then here we can see that this is for multi row we have combined one two three four four rows into a single row where b is the value so here we we can see in the code multi row so we combine four rows into a single row and then we we put this steric and then we write the contents so it can be like this all right so b is this b and then c d e f these are these are the values that are here and then it has a corresponding values so here the the main thing is we are combining four rows into a single row and in the next one we are combining three rows into a single row where the g is in the single uh, single uh, row so as we can see here that we are combining three rows into a single row and then we are giving it the value g and then the others have normal values like this 
and then it's followed by a hard line this hard line and then we have KLN 66 so this was um, a quick video how to to have a multi column and multi row tables in our documents I hope you guys like this video and uh, thank you and please don't forget to subscribe